What's up guys? Name is Jimmy. Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a walk around video of my 2006, actually 2003, no wait, 2006 Toyota Matrix base model, aka the XR conversion. So we're looking at the front bumper. This one I got it from the yard. Very lucky, phantom gray. Color match with the whip, you know what I'm saying? Got the carbon fiber hydro dipped winglets. These are universal, threw them on before Toyota Fest. Got the center piece, gloss black, looking all nice, I know. These right here are actually aftermarket fog light lenses. They did not come with the car, because uh, you know, you know what base models look like. Back there we got OEM wires. Thank God Toyota pre-wired a lot of stuff on this car. We got the license plate relocated to the uh, lower grill. So dude. Got the matrix plate right there from a buddy of mine, Jimmy. Same name, same car. Next up we got the hella horns. Got them from Amazon. 30 bucks shipped. Wiring was kind of easy. All you gotta do is splice the horn cable. Bridge it onto the two horns and you are good to go. Just slam that honk button. Next up, stock manifold, yada yada. We got aftermarket eBay headlights, fiberglass eyelids, AEM short ram intake. This is actually made for the 1ZZ on the 2003 to 2004 model. Unfortunately, for the 2005 to 2008, there are no legal intakes made for this car. You will not pass MOG. I repeat, you will not pass smog. Even though you won't get a check engine light, you still won't pass smog because I already stated what I stated. So yeah, breather hose. This bad boy should have hooked up to the intake too, but I decided to just throw like a crankcase breather onto it. Still looks good. Got a double intake setup. Uh, right here we have the TRD Genuine carbon fiber engine cover we also have the TRD genuine oil filler cap and the TRD genuine strut bar off the 9th gen Corolla over here we got the non TRD genuine radiator cap it has a blue gasket on the bottom you guys should know eBay stuff no bueno over here we got the TRD uh, sock for the power steering reservoir just like what six speed makes you know the orange ones are Mugen for the Hondas this one's TRD and looks pretty nice so I got it next all the way up here we got the TRD genuine upper grill it also came with the lower grill but I did not want to put it on because you will need slight modifications to the corner over here and the corner over there all right well that's all for the front end now let's go to the interior oh can't forget pinstripes not a rice mod is actually a sick mod a lot of the matrixes have it so might as well right over here we got the XRS 17s, the stock 17 wheels because you know, stock life. Uh, currently sitting on uh, 25 millimeter spacers in the front. Make sure they're hub centric because you know the rims could jiggle back and forth. You don't run the hub, cent uh, hub centric spacers. Towards the back we got 50 millimeters. Funny thing is they're both off of eBay. You guys might think, yeah man, studs are going to crack, you better watch out. It's going to be a couple more days until it's going to be a full year with these spacers on, so whatever help y'all sleep at night. <laughs> Side skirts, these were actually silver when I got them from my buddy Jimmy. Uh, painted them in phantom gray, dupe color, always works. What the car is currently sitting on is the Eibach. Sport line springs, these are discontinued. Uh, I was pretty lucky to get them from Auto Culture, great source to get some parts. Over here, we got the side mirrors with a shitty paint job that I did.
first time problems. Window visors, JDM as fuck. Color matched door handles with some TRD. Door handle again. Got some stickers off eBay. Import equipment. You guys want the OG matrixowners.com sticker? Import equipment. That's the place to get them. Right here, too. Same source. Eat Sleep VVTI. Sick. Over here, we got the JKS spoiler. This one is not discontinued. They still have it around. Uh, maybe car ID or eBay. I got mine from eBay, unpainted. Got a good deal with the coupon. Just, uh, you know, coat it a couple times, clear it. That's how the color looks. Hella matching. Got the TRD uh, stubby antenna. Used to be full carbon fiber, but now it's fading because, you know, sunlight on blast. Over here, we got the red out overlays for the tail lights with a reverse cutout. Got it from Blue Bad Overlays. You guys know who he is? You gotta know who he is. He makes a lot of good stuff for the car. For a lot of cars too. Got the Plasti Dip. You know, cause Plasti Dip is considered a mod for horsepower. Got the license plate frame from the All Toyota Fest a couple days ago. Instagram uh, sticker. Down here, we got the XRS rear bumper. Got that little valence dipped in black, cause you know, there's only a few spots you can black out to make this car look nice. Down here, we got the Borla Pro XS muffler. All the way down here, which you can't see, but it's the Progress rear sway bar. Much improved handling. It's a must for this car, guys. Don't sleep on it. Rear bumper protector. The bumper did not come with it. You guys probably might or might not have it on your XRS bumper, but it's a nice thing to have. Got the rear wiper installed. Fully functional. Yep. I don't use it often, but when I have to, I gotta use it. Now let's check out the hatch. So in here, uh, got all this dust or whatever. Got that genuine net. Got these little, I don't know what to call them, pouches, I guess. They're factory as well cargo cover you can find a lot of these at the junkyard brand spanking new condition because no one ever uses them all right cool that's all it is for this towards the back seat normally it goes to the front seat first but back seat we got nothing in plain sight got these uh trd neck rest pillows got them from ebay for 30 bucks shipped they used to be sitting in the front, but now they're in the back because it doesn't reach my neck, unfortunately, and I don't want to push the headrest too high, but it fits really good back here. Keeping them here for the next time around. Next up, front seat. It's like the cockpit, you know what I'm saying? First things first over here, we got the door lock stickers I got from Adrian. Sit cop, nice. Uh, we got the power mirror switch with the dimmer. Over here, we got factory tweeters on a base model. That's crazy, right? Basically, behind here, we got Corolla tweeters and we got Pontiac Vibe uh, tweeter wires. So it's like a little bit of modification, but it's not that bad. You know, the wires are color coded, so game on the only thing from the matrix from these tweeters are the triangles sick all right uh right here got a set button from the junkyard no idea why because i don't want to have too many blanks but you know my car did not come with abs so don't judge me on that 
down here we got the Celica GTS automatic aluminum pedals factory you already know gas pedal was the most hardest thing to install out of all these this one's actually stuck on by three on double sided tape this one would fall off time to time because the pedal is too big for the pedal itself and that thing you gotta take off the whole gas pedal and if you go to Sebastian's video on YouTube you'll find out how to throw these guys on pretty good amount of time but not too much time over here we got steering wheel cover red stitching eBay let's see oh we got the TRD emblem this is not Mitch Doray's uh, non-authentic misspelled badge this is actually for real for real looks pretty authentic it's like a jello looking emblem got it from Allen's custom machining y'all should check it out over here we got the cruise control steering wheel never came with it had to install it manually just get the cruise control you need to drill a hole into the steering wheel make sure you take off the airbag so nothing explodes and disconnect the battery that's like the main part over here is the stock stereo, uh, stock stereo. I was about to say steering wheel, but stereo. Down here we got the 115 volt outlet from the XR. There are wires behind here, so you can easily just plug and play. You know what I'm saying? This right here is the aux interface adapter that I bought from Amazon. It was a trial and error. I've never. I mean, like. I had no clue it was gonna work so you know I just bought it gave it a test run and it actually worked basically you just you know plug the aux cord through your phone to here and you're gonna hit that disc button and you just plays music through the CD changer what I currently use now is the Vaunt receiver this is like a Bluetooth adapter or Bluetooth to aux whatever you want to call it 15 bucks from Amazon pretty good price plug it in there it needs to be charged so I just use the USB charge this guy and just let just let it rip you know just play it all day let's see what else we got the Panavice phone mount a buddy of mine Anthony he had it first on his matrix and I guess he took it off but I'm gonna keep mine on the only reason that I don't like this is because when you're driving at high speed that bracket right here it'll vibrate so much that the phone would vibrate and then if you're trying to text you're trying to you know catch the direction it's kind of difficult so you got to hold on it and then type you know how you would do like a regular phone like how I'm holding this phone to record over here we got a dash mat this guy was only five dollars I got five on it yep five dollars guys you want to know where local seller you can't find this on eBay for five dollars it's gonna be like at least twenty or thirty dollars up here we got the Broadway mirror this is a must on all cars if you got you know a lot of blind spots it really helps up here we got the leather Sun visor from the 03 to 04 model I assume yeah the 03 or 04 model, they have the uh, leather ones and the 05 plus, they have the suede ones which I used to have. You know, everything's cool, everything works. We got a Surikawa. This is JDM as fuck, if you guys don't know. Pretty cheap as well. I just didn't want to spend too much on it. It's just like a little accessory, little dangling charm. Got the vape holder. Oh man, you guys gotta love this car, you know, like the vape holder helps so much what else is there I guess that's it oh don't forget we got the intermittent wipers switch uh, we got the rear wiper as I shown you before and we got the fog light uh, integrated with the headlight switch pretty sick pretty sick and uh, yeah, let's just uh, walk back outside.
Alright guys, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.